In today's video, I'm going to walk you through the steps of upgrading the firmware for a gold shell box miner. In this video, we're taking a look at the Mini Doge Pro. We're going to be downloading the latest firmware from the official GitHub page for Gold Shell, loading it up and testing it out. The whole process won't take very long. I'll link everything else in the description below. Now, the reason why you want to upgrade your firmware is to maximize your return and the longevity of your miner, save power with sleep mode options, and optimize your earnings. Something new that you can also do is manage your miners right from the new Gold Shell app, which I'll link below. It lets you know your daily profits. It lets you know when the things are online or offline, and you can also set your alerts. So let's get started. Okay, so we're at the Gold Shell GitHub page. I'm gonna make sure I link this in the description below. It's github.com slash gold shell miner. And then if you go over here in the top left-hand corner, you have the firmware section. We're gonna click on that. And then you have the readme file. The readme file has everything nicely listed out. That's why we're in here. You have the gold shell miner firmware listed over here. And then you can scroll through each individual one and find your miner. Uh, they're listed all right over here one by one. In this video, I'm gonna be doing the mini Doge Pro. If you're not sure which model of box miner you have, you just have to look at the top of it and right where the barcode is, it gives the name. So you can just uh, check that out. And once you have that confirmed, you have the CPB file right over here on the left-hand side. I'm gonna go ahead and click on that and it's gonna download onto my computer. So I have that downloaded. Just open up a new tab here and I'm gonna go to find.goldshell.com and it's gonna show me all the miners that I have right now connected. I have four connected on this network. You can see that Mini Doge Pro is right over here. And all you have to do is click on the settings button and it's gonna to go to the IP address of this device and load it up. And here we have the default page. I'm just gonna switch over to English. And then we're gonna go ahead and unlock the miner. The default password is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Hopefully you're not using the default password, but if you are, that is it. Go ahead and click on unlock and it's gonna unlock your device. And now we're gonna go over to the system section over here on the left-hand side. And then you can scroll down down over here to where it says firmware version. So we're gonna click on the little paperclip icon on the side. So I'm gonna select the firmware file that I've just downloaded. I'm gonna click on the open button and then click on the update. It's gonna go ahead and upload the firmware. It takes a few seconds and then you're gonna hear your device restart. Let's just go back into the window over here. I'm just going to go to the home screen and we'll just let it load. Okay, so it's offline right now. It might take a few minutes. You can see that it's loading up. Okay, and it looks like it just came back online. There we go. It just came back online about a minute ago. We'll click on the settings icon over here. It's going to take us back to the main page for it. Uh, we're going to switch it over to English. There we go. And you can see that we now have version 2.28. So 2.28 is the latest version. You can see it's connected to the pool. Uh, this might take a few moments, but we're up and ready and we're ready to roll. And that's how you upgrade the firmware for the Mini Doge Pro. So while that's hashing away, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you how to set up the cloud service. If you go over to hub.goldshell.com, what you're gonna wanna do is you wanna register for the Gold Shell Hub service. I'll go ahead and jump inside right now. And once you're in here, you're gonna go down to account settings and then you have a key. Now this key is unique to you. Uh, when you click on it, it's just for your account. Uh, once you have that copied, we're going to go back over to the miner page, go into the system section, going to scroll all the way down here, and then I'm going to enable the cloud control right over here. So we're going to paste in our key and then click on apply. So that's been applied. Once this has been applied and added to your account, you can go and install the Gold Shell app. And uh, with the Gold Shell app, you're going to sign in with the same username and password. Okay, so I've just logged into the Gold Shell app. And you can see that we have the miner tool up here at the top. We just have to click on it. And it lets me know how many uh, miners I have. You can see that I have five in total, four are online, one's offline right now at the moment. It lets me know what my daily profits are right over here. And then if you go into miner management, you can see the miners that I have online. It gives you the status, the IP address, and everything related to it. So my KD Box Pro is offline right now. Uh, and then we can go over here. Here's the one I just updated. So Mini Doge Pro is selected and it gives you all the information about it. This app also connects to the new GS watch, which lets you check out the status of your miners when you're on the run. So the Gold Shell app is just another useful tool to manage your miners. Uh, I thought it was useful. I thought I'd share that with you. And that's how you installed the firmware for the Mini Doge Pro. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching. Catch you on the next one. Mm -hmm.